Great Lakes Prepping here. In this week's video, we're talking about compost. Now, last Hang year- Hang on a minute. You gotta be kidding me. Another video about dirt? Well, compost, but what's the matter with dirt? Yeah, but two videos in a row? Nobody cares this much about dirt. How can you even say that? Dirt is the salt of the earth, the common clay, the medium from whence life literally springs. If you say so. Between you and me, it's not too late to change your mind and go watch some dog videos or something. No? All right then, cue the intro. In 2020, I made two videos about how to make simple compost bins. The first video, posted in April, was about how to make a simple compost bin out of an old storage tote. The second video, posted in October, was about making compost bins out of five gallon buckets. Both videos were pretty straightforward, as were the compost bins they featured. Well, the compost in those containers has been sitting ever since, and today is the day I'm going to use it. Again, the green storage container has sat untouched for a little over a year, and the buckets have sat untouched for about seven months. They haven't been shaken, stirred, rotated, or otherwise messed with in any way. As I'm getting my garden beds ready for this year's vegetable plants, the time has come to pop these containers open and see how our very low-maintenance compost looks. All in all, it's looking pretty good. Being closed up in these containers all this time, and especially since we've had some heavy rain in the last week or two, the compost is pretty wet and has clearly compacted down a lot as everything broke down. When I closed these containers up last year, the contents were pretty much at the top, and to nobody's surprise, it does not smell particularly good. So I'm going to dump all of it out into my utility trailer, both to take a better look at how everything decomposed and to allow it to dry out just a little bit so it's easier to work with when I add it to the garden beds. The only real obvious materials I'm seeing that haven't completely broken down are a couple hunks of eggshells. I should have crushed these down before putting them in the compost bins because they take a while longer to break down. And as I start to sift through everything, I can make out a couple potato slices that were among the last things I threw in the bin back in October. Aside from that, I'd call my compost a success. As it dries, I'll stir it up a bit and break up any lumps. Since I've already tilled up my garden bed soil, I'm pretty much ready to add in the compost. I'll loosely mix the compost in with the garden soil and also some sphagnum peat moss. I usually add some peat moss to the beds each year because it helps make a looser soil that is also better at holding moisture and nutrients. Aside from that, I'll incorporate different organic fertilizers according to the vegetables I'm growing in each bed. And as my composting capacity increases, I hope to rely less and less on store-bought fertilizers. Organic compost like this is an absolutely great way to provide nutrients and nitrogen to your soil. Now all that's left to do is plant my vegetables. In these boxes, I'll be doing different varieties of tomato and also trying corn for the first time. I'm not sure how it'll go, but my fresh compost can only help. So that's it for now. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all our latest stuff. Thanks for watching, and until next time, this is Great Lakes Prepping.